as you've seen before, not everything can be solved by factoring or the square root property or even completing the square can't, you know, it, it'll always work, but it's not always the nicest thing. So we do have something that is very useful to us, and that is the quadratic formula. Uh, perhaps you know it, and in case you don't, let me run it out for you. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And the A, B, and C all come from the coefficients and the constant term that we see when we have our, when we have a quadratic equation. So you get your A, B, and C from that. So, make sure you know the quadratic formula, and you know, I, I've got something that I think might help you out. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. See? That's not so bad. Let's see if we can take this formula and apply it to a problem. If I ask you to solve this quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. See how this is set up just like you have your quadratic equation? So I just need to identify the a, b, and c and plug into my formula up here. Now your a is the coefficient of x squared, so it's just 2. b is the coefficient of x, so that's negative 5 and C is your constant term, which is negative 4. Remember, your A, B, and C are just, they're just the coefficients, okay, and the constant term. It doesn't include any X here. So if I use the formula X equals negative B, well, since I have to do negative times B, my B is already negative, that's going to become a positive 5 plus or minus the square root. Now, I've got b squared, and if b, if b is negative 5, then b squared is positive 25. Now the minus 4ac stuff is something we want to take off to the side and look at. So minus 4 times a times c is negative 4 times a, which equals 2, times c, which equals negative 4. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, times negative 4 is positive 32. The sign here will mess with a lot of people, so you've got to make sure you do this stuff out here on the side, your little thought bubble, about how you're getting that number. And then this is all over 2a. Well, a is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. Well, the next thing we need to do is to simplify uh, this expression. So we have 5 plus or minus the square root, 25 plus 32, gives us 57. This is all over 4. You would try to break this down if you can, the radical. The radical breaks down into factors 3 and 19, and there's nothing else you can do with that. So that will be your final answer. There's no more simplifying that can be done.